Welcome back, everybody. We are over here in the nether. I'm in my rail system here, and I want to build another track from here over to the Hot Springs City we've been working on. And this is the closest place, so I've gotten my supplies, and I think I'm just going to add it to this hub. You can tell I've got a nice nether here, and I'm going to start right here. So this is going to be where the track starts and it's going to run down through here. And I've already started uh, laying it out, laying the path out, because I thought it was going to actually take a quite a different path, but ended up in, this is the uh, best or closest way to uh, join up. So we're just going to uh, work from here. So I've got most of the center track down. That's where the track's going to lay on that smooth stone. So hopefully it's going to be a very simple system. Um, sometimes I get you get a little elaborate and make uh, fancy, fancy, dancy ones, but I just want to run the rail through here, and then it's just going to be a basically a three-wide path through there. I'm going to have to move move that lever, but I think that'll be fine. And then, so I'm just going to have my center going through here and that's where the rail is going to go and then these top or I guess they're bottom slabs should prevent any mobs from spawning on them and wandering into my path because that sometimes can be annoying if you're trying to use your rail and a zombie pigman standing right there and you can't hit them because they're all going to get messed up and then you're going to have a riot on your hands and that's that's not good But this should be more than enough for a rail system. Not really going to use it for foot traffic. So let's do that. My theme is going to be andesite. So I've got andesite slabs, andesite polished uh, pillars there. And then I'm using this uh, brown glass because I think it uh, I think it goes better than the other. It kind of blends in so you almost can't even see it like that so and we'll just do the same over on this other side right there so far so good I know I've got a lot of gas and stuff in this area so I got to be careful oops dang it then I'm just going to use, uh, oof, like I said, lots of gas in the area. I'm, I can't even see them half the time. Where are they at? Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's just snooping around out there. So my sword is not going to do me any good. Look at that. There's another one in the background there. Jeez. I still have the remnants of my bow, so where did he go? They're everywhere. It's a very dangerous place. This is why you need a closed tunnel so you don't get sniped or attacked. I don't even see him out there anymore. Let's see. If I... Well, render distance looks fine. I think this, will this actually show the entities? For some reason, they're disappearing. So I'm going to crank this up just to see. Because I know they're loaded. You just can't see them. They just disappear. I don't know what controls that. I'm hoping that that, int, that entity thing. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Busy taking a bath. Go away. Oh, dang it. Go away. I don't think that, there we go. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. No, go away, go away. Bad, bad pig, bad pig. Ah, jeez. Holy cow. Okay, I think I finally got rid of the gas. Oh, did you see that? There's like a hole there. I could have 
lava sized myself. So the sooner I get this tunnel built, the happier I will be, because it is just not safe. What's that? Get rid of you. Bye. Go away. It's just not safe through here. Okay, I don't think there's anybody else out here. Um, let's see, I think this is not going to work. Let's get rid of these two. There we go, and I think I do have stairs. No, that's not going to work. Stairs. I need to put stairs in there. Uh, let's go with the plain ones, not the polished. I'm using the polished up top, but I won't, I'm going to do the plain down below. There we go. So this should keep everything under control. I'm going to use this. So we'll have raised slab. Ooh, I saw something. So we'll have this uh, smooth stone in the middle, the raised slabs on the side, and we should be free from mobs. There we go. Go away. <laughs> Holy. Oh, oh. That pigment almost walked in front of my arrow. That could have been disastrous. Uh, I don't see any tears down there, so I'm just going to leave that. Go away. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, I can just sit up here and snipe him, I guess. Let's keep moving on this. We'll do the stairs. Yeah, stairs. Here, slabs, and then we'll just do the glass. Go. And I'm going three. I think I'm going to need like a pillar here. Wherever I transition to go from uh, one level to the next, I think I'm going to put in these these polished andesite. So right there. Because it makes kind of makes sense. So you got a tunnel transition. It goes from one level down here. So we'll do this across here. And we'll draw on this side. Holy cow! I got away from it, but I, he just blew up. Look at that. that. Bastard blew up my floor. And I don't even see him. It just, the fireball just came out of nowhere. I was able to get out of the way before it hit me, but now I've got to go get some orange glass. So I need to go look around and see if I can find some orange dye. Because I, I've got pains, but I don't have blocks. We'll try over here. Actually, I haven't been over here for a while, so I don't know what we have. Oh, well, we have ourselves locked in. Well, there is a solution. We'll just take the door now. Ha. Oh, can't keep me locked up. Um... We'll just have to take this one too. I was looking. Oh, there's the redstone. I was looking for the redstone. I know there's a switch that opens it. I don't know if I have a stone fist. I don't know if I have a warehouse storage area around here. I can't. I don't think so. No, I think this is just a an outpost. So we're gonna have to go someplace else to find my my orange dye. I mean, I've got the glass. I just need the dye. Okay, so let's put the doors back in. I'll put this door in. No one will know we broke in. There we go. Okay, I ended up going back to spawn to get some orange dye. So I could patch up this hole that gas blew up. I don't see it. Okay, we should be fine, I'm hoping. Oh, 
This is a prime example of why you need to build tunnels in the nether. You just can't run around loose because these guys just show up out of nowhere. And there seem to be quite a few around here. I don't know what it is, but the gas are just all over the place. I don't see now, but now I'm paranoid. Okay, we're over there. Trying to figure out what I was doing before I was so rudely interrupted. So we have this archway here. Oh, dang it. Let's get rid of that. There we go. This archway. There. So that does the transition between the one level to the next. And I'm just going to carry this. These. Uh, uh, what are those stairs? Those stairs. Carry those stairs for the ceiling up. And then cap them off with this slab of andesite. Just to kind of give a nice arch. And then it goes up a level because the track went up a level. So I just need to fill in this hole so I don't get shot through it. And I'm not sure that's going to work. Well, it should once I do. Well, no, the slab is going to be too high. So let's get up here, see if I can figure out exactly what I'm doing. Do yeah, so the slabs are going to go up there. And that's going to leave a gap. So that's fine. And I got that little gap there. And I don't know if that's going to be enough to get shot through. That might be. I don't. Oh, actually, that works. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. No worry. Crisis averted. I don't need. I actually don't need this, and I don't need this, and I can leave that. There we go. Yeah, get rid of that. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, and it makes a nice, it's almost, it's a little claustrophobic for a tunnel, but I think it'll be fine. So I'm just going to have to keep going through here. And there's really, you know, after you see these, uh, this couple sections here, you've basically seen the whole thing. Because I'm not going to do anything fancy, anything special. It's just going to be the same thing all the way through. I'll have to make some adjustments here and there maybe, but nothing too shocking. And then we're going up another level here. So I need to put in another pillar like that. Let's push it over here. There we go. And we will take this. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. These slabs here. Boy, I can't get myself distracted. Oh, come on up. Yeah, then I can go up through here and finish this. So put that up there, and then I can put the upside down stairs upside down upside down stairs right there and then seal it off there that closes it just fill in the gaps here they're perfectly safe now i'm not going to have anybody shooting through there and then this is just going to go like that and then another one over here is that right i don't think that's right there we go Yeah, because it's going to have to be over the slabs, the bottom slabs there. What the? Okay, let's get rid of all of this. Um, there we go. And get rid of this one here. So I had three high, so I need to go there, like that. Of course, I don't know why I'm putting glass here because all I'm going to see is that nether rack. So that's not good. I'm going to have to do something else on this window. Or wall, excuse me, wall. It's not a window because there's a wall in the way. So maybe I'll actually just fill that in with just uh, solid blocks. Okay, so let me just continue on my way building this up. And we'll probably, yeah, I'm just going to hop into a time lapse for the rest of this. 
So that'll give you, you know, you get a little look at what I'm doing, but you don't have to, you don't need a blow by blow uh, commentary on this because it's pretty straightforward. I think you've got it. Okay, there you have it. I uh, finished my tunnel. Nice little time lapse for you there. So we're going to go take a close look at it. We're just basically going to ride the rails. That'll give you a, a quick tour of the whole thing. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing too fancy about it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Park. Park. There we go. So we have our hub here which is uh, goes to all these different places it's not really a dial of destination so you're just going to get here and you just have to get off and make a switch so it's like a bus station where you you know, go transfer to get anywhere you want so this one is going to the hot springs caverns so it should be a nice sweet ride now you're not going to get shot by any gas attacked by any pigmen Put the uh, cobblestone wall there so you don't have to stare at the netherite. And it doesn't just have, you know, a window into nothing. So I think that worked pretty good, having the cobblestone wall in there with the roof. Had to do a quick little weird little loop through here to get up to the second level of the nether there. This nether or fortress. But it... And then the roof kind of changed through here. I kind of lost my lost my way while I was building it. I had to cut through the walls here. This one looks a lot better than that, the one in the Nether Fortress. It just 
Something about that one in the other fortress. Didn't come out right, but I'm just I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And I had this big zigzag, had to add a lot of redstone for the zigzag here. But we come through and here we are into our luscious nether portal room here. We built a little while ago. So this is for our hot spring city that we've been working on. So I think that is all I need to do for today. Get a good look and what is that? That's weird. Is that what is? Oh, okay. I was thinking for some reason I was like, why is there a concrete wall there? But those glass panes make a funny little yeah, the little optical illusion artifact there. It made me for some reason, I thought there was a giant concrete wall there. That was, that's, that was weird. Okay. We are, uh, so I think that's all we're going to do for today. I'm going to let you all be on your way. Uh, next episode, we're going to head back to the uh, city there. And uh, start working on, actually, I'm going to work on my uh, zombie cathedral. I've got some plans for that, so that... So the next episode will be me kicking uh, kicking it off and getting started on that. It's probably going to be another very heavy uh, time lapse episode. Ooh, another gas, but you can't get me. Ha <laughs> ha. I tell you, these things are all over the place. It's like scary. So let's see. Okay. Anyhow, I'm going to say uh, goodbye for now, and I'll catch you in the next episode. So. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.